The first experiment using the Besselec 2 is to bring a liquid to boil in a test tube. We have added a dye to the water in order to make the boiling liquid clearly visible. Here you have an incandescent heat source with a protective grill to prevent any risk of burns. What is interesting here is that we can control the rate of boiling and I can rest the test tube on the grill so my arm doesn't get tired. As you can see, there's an interesting and rapid result and you can move the test tube over the element if you want to obtain a consistent temperature. And no splashes, which limits the danger for students. There you are. All very simple. The next experiment is the felling solution test. Here we have prepared the first test tube with the substance to be tested and the second tube with the felling solution. Firstly, we are going to heat both substances. By positioning the tubes at the center of the heat source, the substances will heat more quickly. Like so. The liquids are nearly boiling and I am now going to pour the solution into the substance to obtain a result. A few minutes later, we obtain a brick red precipitation, thus confirming the presence of reducing sugar in our substance. There you are. In order to show you the strength of the Besselec 2, I am going to bring a piece of carbon or charcoal to incandescence over the heat source. You will see that the temperature will rise very quickly, the aim being, of course, to reach incandescence. You see, here it comes, quite simply the carbon turns red. This shows that the temperature of the Besselec 2 can reach nearly a thousand degrees Celsius. Very useful for many different kinds of experiments. This next experiment is to demonstrate that you can also heat liquid in a flask completely safely. So, place the flask in the clamp. Even with a clumsy movement, the flask doesn't move. No risk at all. And if there's any spilled liquid, it's completely safe as the control panel is far enough away from the element to be protected. Please, can you show me? Of course. So if there's some spilled liquid, there you are. No risk of a short circuit allowing you to work in complete safety. There you are. How do you obtain a flame with the basic tube? Well, I have placed this dish on the element. Then we use a gel. Flame gel. I am going to fill the dish with the gel that I will then place on the heat source. Wait for a moment for the gel to heat up and then, with a current of air, there you go. So now you can do different combustion tests with metals. For example, iron produces a small explosion. Zinc, that gives us a blue flame. Aluminum. Aluminum gives us a white flash. And finally, copper, which gives us a green flame. There you go. An interesting experiment using the flame gel that allows you to work safely with the Besselec tube.
Another experiment, the vanillin test. Here I have put a small amount of vanillin on the microscope slide with a cover slip over it. The aim is to observe the crystallization of the vanillin. This will heat up quickly as the element is already very hot. I am going to melt it to obtain a molten substance. Then, with this cork, I am going to crush it very slightly to obtain a thin layer of the molten substance to be able to observe it. What is practical with this clamp is that I can reach over the hot part of the bestelec without burning myself. Like so. Once the flame is out, place the dish on the shelf. There are different accessories with the Besselec too. Firstly, the stamp which is easily assembled thanks to a simple screw mechanism. The boss that supports the clamp. And then, what is useful with these accessories, you have here for example, a flask, we can place it over the element and we can adjust the height of the flask and the angle very easily. There you have the Bessalic 2. The control panel at the front to avoid any electrical problems, the clamp stand and the shelf, a full range of accessories for this piece of equipment that is both efficient and completely safe.